Hello, um, I've got a unboxing slash uh, maybe review, I guess, uh, for you of um, a digital caliper set from a company called Green Tools. Uh, now, if you've uh, started the 3D printing hobby, you'll know that um, you need to buy a lot more things. There's a lot more to it than just buying a 3D printer. And one of them things is a caliper and a uh, filler gauge as well. The filler gauge isn't a necessity, but it, it's just better. You now, I already had those. I already bought them uh, a while ago. But, you know, it's always nice to have another one extra. And this one here, of course, you know, I was asked to review it. And I said, hey, sure, why not? It's from uh, Green Tools. It is $29.95 on Amazon right now. This little slip cover here over top of it. But um, this is the plastic case that it comes with. Green Tools logo. Um, just, you know, standard plastic case. It is nice uh, sturdy case of course we got clips on the front we open it up here um, we have our owner's manual uh, model number sh20 as you can see sae and metric uh, like other ones it automatically uh, changes to metric and standard congratulations i uh, got a two-year warning on it which is nice and it uh, looks like you get a full refund too absolutely free or mail uh, you a full refund yeah that's not bad for two years, you get a you know replacement or uh, a refund. But we do have a battery here, an extra one for you. We have a small screwdriver. Uh, the filler gauge is in here, which um, this is actually I have to say this is actually nicer than um, the one that I purchased not long ago. Uh, the one that I purchased not long ago was in, it wasn't it wasn't that cheap. It was less than ten dollars. Uh, it wasn't that expensive, I should say. It was less than ten dollars. But um, this one is actually nicer than the one I purchased, honestly. Yeah, at least it seems nicer. Anyway, uh, it is covered with, you know, oil, um, as you'd expect, like all of them are, you know, they're supposed to be. Now, this isn't calibrated or anything like that, so I'm not sure. But uh, there's the feeler gauge there. Uh, let me grab something to wipe this oil off my hands. Ah. Okay, so let's put this up there. All right, here is the caliper. Kind of purse, or you want to call them, I guess. Plastic bag, uh, stainless steel, stainless hardened. Uh, got a nice heft to them, they really do. Um, the case, the outside housing is actually metal as well, which is uh, you know, nice to see. Most of them are plastic, of course. Uh, up on the top here, we have our knob that uh, tightens the dial, whatever you know, that tightens it. And of course, we have our sliding here, it automatically comes on as soon as you move it. Or you can use the on off button, which is nice. Uh, it can change to inches and millimeters just by clicking the button. So it automatically converts it for you, actually. Um, but zero it out there. There we go, zero when it's closed. But um, we can do outside and inside diameters. And of course, you have depth as well down on this end uh, if you need to do depth. We have a uh, I don't know what that says. <laughs> then, stem, turn, boar, um, I don't know. Anyway, there's a charter in the back. <laughs> but um, the battery is here, by the way. This would be the battery compartment right here. That's why they provided you the screwdriver. Um, just to give you an idea, this is a pair that I purchased uh, from Pinka. I did an unboxing on these as well. But um, this is the set here. Um, these are actually heavier, this stainless steel one. And as you can see, this here is uh, plastic housing, and this one's a metal housing. Uh, I like this metal housing one better. And actually, this one's uh, easier to read, I think, than the black. And also, this one has more um, of a scale, more graduated measurements than this one does. So I, I think it's uh, more more easier, <laughs> easier to read, I guess. But uh, let's check this out here real quick. Let me zero this out. Get oil on my hands again. But let me grab one of these out of this feeler gauge here. Now the feeler gauge is nice. I mean, right now, I mean, it, it you know, it's definitely worth ten bucks there. All right, this is 0 0.60 millimeters on this here. So let's do zero this out here, and let's close it up. And um, well, that says <laughs> 0.026 <laughs> inches. Sorry. <laughs> let's try that. 0.93 we have on that gauge so let's close it up there hmm. all right there we go so 0.6 0.61 if we let it go it does move of course because it moves 
So let's tighten this up a little bit here. Make it a little bit tighter. There we go. Look at that. 0.60 uh, millimeters. I'm not touching it. And that is what this is. 0 0.60 mm. So I would have to say it's fairly accurate. I mean, um, for just, you know, I didn't calibrate it, nothing like that. This is actually the first time I'm unboxing it. And as you can see, I uh, take the plastic off of the feeler gauge. But um, it is Green Tools Digital Caliber. Auto on off. It comes on automatically, but then uh, when you move it, but then it automatically shuts off after uh, a minute or so. Um, that's about it. Uh, on Amazon, it's a digital caliper, stainless steel, large LCD screen, free feel gauge included, extreme accuracy, inch metric conversion. Again, it's $29.95 on Amazon, prime shipping, so free shipping. Uh, I think this one is it's really nice. Um, you know, I wasn't, mm, kind of wasn't expecting that much out of it. But out of the box, it's, uh, you know, accurate according to the feeler gauge. I'd say that's that's pretty decent, actually. I don't have to calibrate it or nothing like that. Uh, green tools, uh, digital caliper, free feeler gauge. Uh, if you're doing 3D printing, uh, this thing, this is a must. Or I mean, okay, if you're doing printing, it's not really a must. But if you're designing your own things like I've started to do, uh, it's a must for a caliper. And then the feeler gauge is actually used... Uh, for leveling the bed if you need to on mine I have a manual level so you know they say use a sheet of paper but that's eh, whatever a feeler gauge is much better for um, the bed but that's it uh, highly recommended uh, decent product uh, very very well made I have to say I'm very impressed with it but uh, that's it alright thanks